Hi guys, Holly Milliken from South Grafton High School here, bringing you my next video on making maths fun. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that usually I give games or activities or different ideas on how to keep students engaged in the physical classroom. For this video, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I thought for today I could outline for you guys a few different ways that I kept my students engaged during the online learning period. Now my first online learning tool that I've been utilising is my daily wellbeing check-in form. Now this is a Google form which I found online and adapted to suit the specific needs of my students. So as you can see here, the wellbeing form collects students' names, feelings, and if they need any extra help finding or completing their work. Having students complete this Google form each day gives me ample data to ensure my students are not only engaging with the set work, but are also receiving the direct help they need. And simultaneously, having students fill this form out each day provides me with a list of students who are genuinely engaging with the online learning and gives evidence for those who aren't. For ease of access, I simply posted a link to this on my Google Classroom. Utilising this form has really made a huge impact on my students' engagement. Not only has it held them accountable for having to show up and fill it out every day to say, hey miss, I am here, but it's also allowed them a direct connection with me that is somewhat private aside from the Google Classroom. So they can say, hey miss, I'm actually really struggling with concept X. And in the next class Zoom lesson, I can address that concept. Or they might say, you know, I'm, I'm feeling really sad and upset at the moment, you know, about X, Y, and Z. And I can call home and say, hey, I'm a little worried about student X. And, you know, they seem a little down lately. Is there anything I can do to help? So it's been really, really great from uh, an engagement standpoint and also an accountability standpoint. And the data collected is just absolutely amazing. Now this next method incorporates competitions into the online learning experience, which really helps students not only to engage with the content in a way that's exciting and fun, but also engage with each other, which is a crucial element that's either missing or at the very least minimised during this whole online learning experience for the students. Now the best way that I've found to incorporate competitions into the virtual learning has been to split students up into a pre-allocated group although any grouping will really do, and challenge them to work together and communicate through whatever medium they feel necessary to really connect with each other and go, okay, well, I can't do this on my own. I do need to work with other people in my class. How can we work together to solve problem X or problem Y? So what I thought I could do is take you guys through a couple of my more successful competitions that I ran during our online learning period. This first team activity I ran was a team Kahoot. Now I assigned it via our Google Classroom and had students complete it with their team name as part of their Kahoot name to keep track of points. This created a fierce competition between the teams with students engaging in a lively discussion on the Google Classroom, desperately wanting to know the outcome of which team was the champions and demanding rematches. It was a really great competition style activity which jump-started engagement in my class and was extremely simple to put together. And it also allowed me to collect data on which students were struggling with specific types of questions and re-approach those during our next Zoom lesson. Now my next competition style activity is a digital escape room. Now this is a Clark Creative resource that has been adapted to suit online learning. And the best part about it is, if you already own any of the Clark Creative resources, you don't have to repurchase them to get this digital platform. They've just been adapted, so all you have to do is go back on and re-download them and you'll get this as well. Now, I use this activity to get students working together via Google Slides, really trying to show them that they can connect from a distance. And it was a great activity to encourage engagement in the content while simultaneously helping the students have a bit of fun and connect with their classmates. The instructions are really clear and simple and the hard legwork's already done for you. 
This activity was a huge hit with my students, who loved the idea of trying to escape from a digital classroom. At the end of the day, engaging students in your online learning experience can be as complex or as simple as you want to make it. It can be as simple as just slightly altering the awesome lessons you're already teaching in your classroom, or as complex as creating a whole new dynamic for your classroom online. Keeping students engaged can happen in such a huge variety of ways, and I've mentioned just a few of them here today. So if you'd like any of the resources that I've mentioned, please feel free to drop a comment down the bottom of this video and I will link you guys through to the resources. If you'd like to keep up to date with all of my latest videos, please make sure you click the subscribe button to the Teacher ACER YouTube channel. See you guys in the next video.